All right. Today we got Musa Hafiz Musaddiq Khan. Yeah. Khan in the chair. <laughs> Younger brother of legendary his uh, IFS his teacher Hafiz Mukarram and but owner of many establishments in the <laughs> Chicagoland area <laughs> including meat and burgers. How's that? Is it good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. did I miss anything? No, no, no. Young entrepreneur. <laughs> no. When, why did you decide to open a restaurant? Um, it came from a fundamental principle of you do not get to choose your opportunities, but you only get to build on them. Okay. Um, that's so what, one of the what fundamental was the principles. How did, you, well, how did you get the opportunity then? Or how right. did you see the opportunity? Um, so when I had this, and, and this principle kind of, you know, as a foundation to be able to kind of, you know, you guide through and see what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it. So initially I just wanted to have something where, you know, where I can kind of build on something. So I was looking for opportunities basically. Sure the video is fine. Keep talking. I was trying to see, like, what can I do? Can I do clothing? Can I do burgers? Can I do, like, you know, e-commerce? Can I sell stuff? You know, buy stuff, you know? So in high school, like, obviously, you know, as any high schooler, like, after his... You want the fade bald? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um... <clears throat> As any high schooler, like, you know, they're just, I'm, I'm, I'm a big uh, uh, person on, like, hustling and trying to get whatever I wanted to by myself. Even though I had a good, like, cushion as to, like, you know, had a lot of brothers throughout my life helping me out with anything I needed, you know. Always grew up on, like, a silver platter type thing. But I always had this thing where how can I kind of, do it on my own type of thing, you know? So that mentality paired up with this idea of like, you know, opportunity. Where, you know, what is it? Where is it? How can I do it? I started off with like um, iPhone cases with uh, some of my friends and then moved on to like Amazon services. When did you, uh, like, was this in high school? Yeah, it's in And you were at Willowbrook? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, and then kind of moved on to where it's like kind of a little bigger trading things. And then... When did you stop doing that? Or do you still do it? E-commerce? I still do e-commerce. Oh, you do? I nice. still okay. do e-commerce, yeah. But not in a big way. Okay. Um, so but my family's always been in the business, you know. So I've been in that environment where I'm just trying to see what I can do on my own type of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So I had this opportunity where my brother bought it to me, and I'm like... Bro your brother bought what? He, my brother brought this idea to oh, me. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was like, dude, I think, uh, you know, we have a good spot. Let's start this thing, you know? Restaurant? I'm not going to get the, too nitty-gritty. You're talking about the uh, grocery store? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 not grocery store, bro. Restaurant? Grocery store's been there for like freaking 14 years. Oh, okay. The restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I was like, again, I had this idea. You know, I'm going to repeat this a lot because I live by it. Mm -hmm. um, where, you know, you don't get to choose your opportunities. You get to build on them. And I repeat this often because, you know, people perceive, especially young kids, I have this idea of a perfect idea of becoming a billionaire. There's, it's a big phenomenon now to be able to kind of like invent something and then become an instant like unicorn or a billionaire off of it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that idea is there and it is, um, it is possible now more than ever before, but to have this type of mindset really sets up a person to be able to start from somewhere where it's easier and it's something more realistic and then build on it, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas a person has this idea of like, 
you know, I want a perfect office. I want like HD screen, 24 inch, like whatever it is that well, set up. Tiny, come on. What, yeah, 24 <laughs> or whatever, 70 wait, inch. I, I get your point though. Yeah, 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 or a projector, you know. Yeah, you want the whole look. Right. Yeah. The, the look of success. Right. What do you think it will take? So you can't really choose that is what I'm saying. You kind of have to build on what you have. And a great example that I can give right now is where I'm sitting in this chair. And this is attesting to that fact where, you know, we're, we're literally starting off. You're really, you know, starting off with this space where you're utilizing it to the max. Mm. You're taking up on that opportunity and you're building on it, you know? And every time I see that, I respect that. And I want to support it so much so that I would, you know, I would put my own money, I would put my own, you know, efforts to be able to support that person. Um, we, speaking of words, we need a sponsor. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, you know, so basically, uh, the, the I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you guys are the best burger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll play. Yeah, what are you saying? You, Junaid had to interrupt your train of thought there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, you'd have to uh, kind of interfere me if you have any questions, because mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep on going. No, going, keep on going, bro. bro. <laughs> I think it's boring. I'll just I'll I'll ask like a question. Um, so that's how the idea came about. Where it came about as an opportunity. Your brother so brought, first, brought it to you. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, it wasn't he, something you thought thought about, like, oh, well, one day I want to open a restaurant. It was not like that no, at all. It's, it was it's, more the opportunity it's, came, you thought it was a good opportunity. Right. So, it's yeah. it's more of like, hey, I want to do business. What is it going to be? Trying to see opportunities, and this opportunity came about, you know? Nice. But what I will tell you is that um, one of the fundamental things, this is um, what I eventually want to do. One of my goals is to be able to, you know, uh, serve the next, you know, 7 billion people. Mm -hmm. um, that is my goal. So it can come in the form of burgers. It can come in the form of, like, shirts. Well, don't move your head around. Uh, it can come in the form of fashion. It can come in the form of anything. But to be able to serve the 7 billion people where, you know, hopefully it benefits them, young or old, um, rich or poor, I want to be able to serve them to the best of my ability. You know, that's my ultimate goal. So these three things really, really, really drive me every day to be able to see op seek opportunities and build on them and to be able to just serve people, whatever it is. So what is opportunity? So, bur Sorry, go ahead. so burgers is not just one thing. Like I'm excited about fashion. I'm excited about design. I'm bro, excited about real estate. You I'm are a... Kanye West, bro. I'm not gonna say the same thing. <laughs> you are Kanye West. <laughs> like, I uh, started off with what he's talking music. For you, it was burgers. Then he went to fashion, which is easy. Yeah. That's you, bro. What's next after that for him? I don't know, politics? I don't know what he's doing now. Uh, that's you, dog. You're Kanye West, bro. All right, keep going. I really, I really focus on, like, the perspective and the mindset. And, um, and uh, I love to talk about like people, uh, especially like young young kids or people who are aspiring like entrepreneurs mm -hmm. or like aspiring like um, just to hustle, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I love I love to give them like realistic like perspectives for them to be able to have a good mindset and to set them, um, you know. <clears throat> to set them for success, right? I really like that. And when I, uh, in return, I like to hear stories, right? I like to hear like different background stories of, as to how you came about to this position and where you want to go, you know? Um, and it's like an exchange, you know? I, I, I love doing that. And that's, I think that's in a form, in a sense, it's kind of like... Have you done that a lot? Have, have a lot of kids yeah, come to you and stuff? Yeah, any, like, a lot of dis discussions I have, even with, like, customers, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very friendly with customers, and, you know, probably the community would be able to attest to this also. And I have a very, very unique relationship with each and every person, and mm -hmm. I like to hear their stories. 
Where are you from? How are you? What are you doing? Where do you want to be? You know? And uh, even if the person doesn't really have like these crazy goals or have any form of motivation, I still like to give them this like light of hope, you know? Yeah. Or to be able to let them know that, hey, you don't have to have a big goal to be able to affect in a greater way, right? Mm -hmm. A person in a, in a random classroom, in a fifth grade classroom teacher, right? That person is affecting the whole entire world, believe it or not. Symbolically, metaphorically, any, any shape, because guess what? In that 24 person class, that one person, that one student might be affecting the next 7 billion people just because of that, that, that teacher, right? So, Dang, bro, Hafiz Muin uh, taught us and right, he exactly. taught you and now look at you, bro. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> man. Like, it's so inspiring for me. Each and every different individual is impacting the world in some shape or form. Like, regardless if they're aware of it or not, it is literally impacting us right now. A random person smoking a cigarette in a random street. I know it's such a crazy thing to say, but that's affecting us, right? Yeah, dude, so, dude cancer. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's that comes that brings to a crazier point that hey, um, if I wanna if I wanna do business, I have an, an another underlying uh, mindset as to am I doing it where I can impact the whole world like in a good way or a bad way, right? Mm. How can I, since, since the rhetoric, since the, since the logical uh, uh, thinking right now is that, hey, it's going to affect, whatever I do, it's going to affect the whole entire world. How can I do it the right way? Regardless of, right? <laughs> so uh, that's the next big thing. <laughs> so with, with, that, with this opportunity you got to open a restaurant uh, three years ago, four years ago? Yeah. What? have you learned along the way what can you say to like anyone else in this trying to get into this or even like yourself what would you say like oh if i knew this early on this would have helped me hmm i've had many many lessons and realizations and i'm i'm learning every single day every single second every single day i'm learning um about each and every aspect of life human behavior, human perception. And the more I seek, the more I observe, the more I learn, it amuses me to the fact that life is much more simple. And the biggest thing I learn is that, and I, I go back to this all the time, but the biggest thing I learned is that no matter how much or how complicated life gets it goes back to the simple things and for me those simple things are related to my religion which is islam and for me to be able to go and bowing down on the prayer rug every day no matter how many complicated... Don't be humble here, bro. Prayer no. rug, you mean, you, mean at the, you mean the masjid, bro. Because you know you're praying that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, but no matter how, you know, how complicated a problem can get, it can be an algorithmic problem that you're solving for 50 years, or it can be just a problem of where, you know, there's a, hundred, a thousand customers in front of you and you're trying to serve them in a timely manner, right? But that problem is only solved in only one way. That's what I've learned, right? And that's what I always go back to. And that's what, I, what I've always went back to. I've had ups and downs in terms of being able to seek different mediums to be able to solve those problems. But no matter what, I've only found it in one. Only one. And it's, it's only in congregation prayer. That's it. So it's as simple as that. So and I keep going back to it. You went to UIC together. Mm -hmm. You got computer science degrees. Mm -hmm. Did you know you wanted to do this then? Or what was the thinking going to school for computer science? So 
Um, there is there is the golden age of uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Crazy, right? To start off with. <laughs> but there is, there was an age period, you know, I don't know exactly the timeline, but electricity was just as though exciting as it is for us. Uh, um, uh, Wi-Fi or internet, okay, using internet the new was. technology, you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the golden age of electricity was for them just like how it is for us. Uh, the idea of Wi-Fi or the internet, right? Mm -hmm. But the idea of electricity took off so much so that it was integrated everywhere in the world. And it created opportunities for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. But after that integration happened, right, it's the next chapter, next big chapter. Uh, hold up one real quick. I, I did this, this side so far with the hair. Oh, yeah, perfect. It's good. I love it. All right, for nice. sure. I'll match it. Um, it's everywhere. It's integrated everywhere in the world. The next chapter comes in. The big boom happens, right? The Internet. I'm just chopping off a lot of years. You're, gonna, a lot sorry, of, you're not going to look at Jenny, sorry. Oh, okay. You're going to look straight. Um, <laughs> Talk to nobody. <laughs> Talk to nobody. You see in the mirror, maybe. There you go. Look at him through the mirror. Can you see him? Yeah, mm -hmm. I can see him. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see it for sure. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, internet, electricity, sorry. Electricity, golden <laughs> age. Just like your hair. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Physics lesson. Electricity, electricity happens, right? Uh, it creates a lot of opportunities. It creates a lot of uh, jobs, right? But then, like, after it, uh, you know, it's integrated everywhere, it's, it's in common use, the idea of um, internet comes on and it was such a big boom that it created so many opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. Had I been born during the age of the electricity boom, I would probably be a <laughs> Electrical engineer or something, you oh, know? Okay, so, so you're, what you're saying is you became a, a you went to CS because that was, that was opportunity at the time. Yes. Okay. It's all about opportunities. Regardless yeah. of where you want to be, it's all about opportunities. And guess what? The craziest of the craziest ideas, right? Meaning, for example, Amazon CEO ex-CEO Jeff Bezos, right? Mm -hmm. He started off with books. How in the world is that connected to AWS? Yeah, that's true. Now, he, AWS took an controls opportunity. The world. he took an opportunity and he built on it, right? That's straight, bro, sorry. I don't want to your hair. Am I right? I mean, no, I agree. how, I mean, how are that connected? Now, now he controls like half the internet of the whole world. Right, but yeah. how, how are those things connected? Books, bro, if you're doing books, why are you doing uh, cloud computing? Yeah, like, true. how is that, like, right? Yeah, no, that's, that's true. Or if you're an IT major, why are you, uh, Cutting why hair. are you a barber? Yeah, you're 100% right? sure true. Uh, what are you creating hair? Dude, that's not how it works. You gotta take up on your opportunities and you gotta build on them. This is it. <laughs> you know? No, that's, that's true, 100% true. Did you, uh, did you... So when you got your CS degree, did you use it at all? Or did you just like, okay, I saw an opportunity I used it for I, I used it for four years at British Airways. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yes. Nice. Um, obviously, right, stacking up uh, is important. Your initial important. investment. <laughs> right? Yeah. You, got, you got to stack up somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I want to bring this topic up of, about education. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And... I want to make it very, very clear, and this is for the young, young kids, young people, aspiring people who want to gain knowledge, aspiring people who are even old, but they're stuck and they still want to gain knowledge, yeah. right? Um, education is about learning how to learn. As simple as that. As simple as that. Why is that? Can you can you expand? Education is learning, 
learning how to learn. If a person has graduated from a university or any accredited place or whatever, so right? That's right. It, if they've graduated and they they think that, oh, now I have completed learning, they have failed <laughs> That's dramatically. True. That's true. They have failed dramatically. Not in their classes. They can be A plus B yeah, or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not saying in life. They the failed to be able to understand the actual purpose of knowledge. Hmm. Education is about learning how to learn. Because that person who has graduated, he should have the intention to be able to seek knowledge and to be able to explore with the right mindset. What's the, what's the inspiration to like your, your Instagram? You're very like uh, artsy. Like I watch it. I'm like, this is very like, I like looking at it. I like hearing it, but I don't I have no idea why I like looking at it. And I don't even know what I'm getting at the end, but it's just nice to look at it. That's kind of how it is. What's what's your like, what are you trying to do by doing making it? Okay, uh, design is very, very personal to me. Mm -hmm. um, as a as a as an individual, you know, as as in even when I was as an adolescent, um, I have been inspired by art from like forever. So I've been drawing since like, you know, For real? even like back in the day in his days. Yeah. Really? What do you yeah. draw that? I randomly drew, I randomly drew like a Batman figure or whatever, and my dad came into the room and he's okay. like, "He got mad at you." He's like, he didn't get mad at me. He's yeah. a, he has a very different, you know, yeah, way yeah. of. Uh, this is another topic, like being able to teach your children how to, you know, implement things. It's it's a great great gift to have uh, to, to be able to hone on, and to be able to have a blessing. Um, anyways. Yeah. So I had this this. I for design throughout my life, bro, and I am Wait, 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 finish that story. What's your dad? story? Your dad, you're drawing Batman? Oh, drawing Batman. <laughs> um, yeah, my, my dad comes in, he's like, uh, he's the like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hydro comes yeah. in with Hydro. Mm -hmm. No, he, he comes in nonchalant, you know, he's just like, you know, Vita, uh, he, um, like he, yeah, yeah. he said, he said uh, this is not something uh, you should like. Khas, how do you say in, in, in it should, it should be your passion. Special? No, no, no. Special, yes. Yeah. He said this is not uh, something special. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, he calls you mediocre. Uh, <laughs> after that, I literally threw that figure, you know, and then uh, I indulged in throughout my life. I am, obviously, I'm human. <laughs> Uh, I try to steer away, steer indulge, away from that. Indulge in what? Oh, in the, in the art. I try to indulge, uh, like basically try to do s uh, different type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just trying to cruise through life is, is very hard to be able to balance. Um, so I had this I4 design throughout my life. Third grade, since third grade, I wanted to be able to kind of create something. My end goal, my ultimate goal in life, in terms of like worldly matters, is to invent something. That's my ultimate goal, right? Yes. Um, I hope that can serve those next seven billion people, but that's kind of like personal things, you know? Mm -hmm. Some people have their personal thing. It can be as simple as a bottle cap, and I repeat this to everyone. All my close friends, family, they all know this. It's to be able to have that support system no matter what. It carries you throughout your journey, repeating your purpose over and over and over and over again. And that came from that idea of creating art. Art is about, you know, being able to like, you know, just creativity, right? You're always like in this, in this form of like ideation process always ideation like once you're done with the art piece the next day ideation mm. so your work your brain's working towards that idea mindset what, what's next so anyways you're moving on to your question i just want to I, I like to bring about uh a response with a clear uh basis right mm 
where did that answer come from? So that's why I'm explaining that, hey, this is my mindset and this is my answer. <laughs> uh, when, I, when I make videos, right, I look for some things, I, I, I divide it up in three things. How can I inspire people? How can I make something uh, like look different, feel different, something unique? Yep. It can be the same clip I'm, I'm copying of a different person, but I like to have my own spin on it. Right, um, and then Came back. how do I how do I make this into comfortable? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're doing my beard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Who are you talking? I'll tell you when you can't talk. Why? Okay. <laughs> What's the reason? No, no, no. Tell me. Is this like I don't know. I. Are you nervous? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this is a big moment for me. Yeah. For you to be able to do this. I got you. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I see you. I've been seeing you for like 15 years. So I think I know how you are. You're very yeah. No, no, no. Big obviously. moment in the sense like, okay, for for those for those people who don't know, this guy and this guy is like a big part and has been a big part in my life. You know. Yeah. But, you have to. And <laughs> so this right now, like, oh. I'm just like, I just had this like thing moment. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's about to be over. <laughs> oh, the video? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. Your hair goes tidy, bro. No, no, no. Nah. We can... <laughs> Go ahead. Sit down, I'm the bro. third person to this now. <laughs> 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 to be able to have uh, other people's perspectives, right? Um, mm -hmm. Bring about other people's perspectives. Three, three segments. Inspiring people. Um, uh, having some form of creativity attached to it. You know? Mm -hmm. Meaning, bringing my creative side to it. It can be camera work, it can be artwork, it can be, it can be anything, knowledge, any form of creativity, right? And then bring, bringing people's voices to attention, right? That's, that's very key. Like, what's happening in real life and how is it related? So those are, that's how I kind of like, you know, uh, do it. Although it may seem like a seven second video, how long take you to make them? Bro, it takes a lot of... Uh, it's a process. Some of them probably take fast, right? And some of them longer, is that what I'm guessing? Or some, or they all take long time? I sit on a lot of them. You sit I, on them? Like you save them in your drafts or whatever? Yeah, I sit on a lot of them, yeah. Like the idea or the actual video? You just don't post it for a while? Or you have actual, part of it made? Actual video. Where do you make it? How do you make it? Just an Instagram itself? Just Instagram. Okay. Instagram. If anyone's aspiring to become like a video content creator or whatever, you don't need anything, bro. Just jump, just go off with what you have. Mm -hmm. That's it. As long as what you have is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're attractive. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> as me as as it may seem like it's a it's a funny thing, repetition is such a crazy powerful thing. It can be as stupid as like saying, um, you know, I'm a basketball player. I'm a basketball, and you're just like sitting in a chair. Manifestation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about all. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, manifesting it. Like, I would have used that word it. though. Yeah, it's the same thing. What you're saying. <laughs> yeah, no, no. And Kyrie Irving. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it, repetition is is very very powerful. You know, in terms of being able to um, uh, Wait, what do you mean by repetition? Like practicing and doing it over and over, or in your mind know. only? Inner mindset, repetition in terms of physically, repetition in terms of anything. Repetition of even if you say evil stuff and you repeat it so many times, guess what happens? That evil becomes something of norm. And you repeat something which is good, and that good becomes a norm. So who are your inspirations or who do you go to for mentor mentorship? Is that the word? Mm -hmm. Mentorship or inspiration? Um, my biggest inspiration has been my dad. My biggest support system has been my parents. Um, Can I hire your parents? My, <laughs> biggest, my biggest joy has been my mom and my dad. Um, and the, the mentality that I have in terms of 
not being able to care about who people, what people think about me or how people perceive me, it's because of the support system I have from my parents. As simple as that. I have like, bro, in terms of creativity, you might not believe it, my dad looks like a regular TJ guy, <laughs> bro. He don't look regular, he's built different. <laughs> <though. laughs> but bro, I'm telling you, oh my God, the amount of wisdom and the amount of like uh, uh, patience, the amount of support that he right, What do you think about your highlights though? My highlights? Uh, exactly. This is a crazy thing to bring about. Hold on, actually, before you do that, let me just do one thing. Really weird. Looking, looking blurry. Lineup looking fresh. Looking clean. All right, brother. Let's carry on the conversation now. Let's go back to what uh, Jin Hazel was saying before you left. What's the worst like uh, customer you've had? Like, um, what was the worst interaction that happened? Uh, I've never, you know, that, that's a crazy thing that you say, but I'm going to tell you right now, I have had such an amazing experience with the whole entire community and I have never had an instant instance where, um, you know, I was not loved and I was not. There is not one instance where uh, where a customer left and they did not say um, they did not say bye and leave, like or at least thank you and leave, like you know, such a loving. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions because you know they see community. There, you know, there's so many things that we have in our culture, and then infused with American culture, and we're trying to adjust with our values and you know. Uh, stereotypes you know it's all mixed up and it kind of deduced into like the, these uh, stereotypes right and um, I want to I want to dismiss all those stereotypes and let people know that we're headed a very very good direction very good direction nice um, a biggest example is our local community Lombard in Chicago land area we're booming. We have the best places that are popping up. We have the best community that's supporting us, you know. And it's been such an incredible uh, journey to be able to have that support system through and through. And I, it means a lot for me because I opened up during COVID, right? And it has been just an incredible ride to be able to witness that and have that support system and to be able to overcome that and be sustainable right that shows the um, the amount of support i had from the community do you think uh if somebody wanted to open a restaurant in uh, lombard if the opportunity came would it be a good idea given how many we got here yes there's so opportunities endless opportunities everywhere there's no such thing as like oh my god you know, there's too much going on. How do I, I do agree this? With you. How do I do Bro, this? Bro, everybody loves to eat, man. Everyone loves to eat, but <laughs> again, going back to that idea, you know, listen, you know, if there's opportunity, just build on it. Mm -hmm. Find your passion. Find your niche. If you don't have passion for it, you know, um, it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna go too well for you, because you're gonna be stuck. And the idea of like, oh my God, um, how can I do better? Oh my God, how can I make money? Oh my God, how can I do this, right? But if you have the idea of passion instilled in you, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing you care about is, is to be able to uh, serve that passion, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's all you would care about.